According to the Michigan Ovarian Cancer Association, every 23 minutes, a woman is diagnosed with ovarian cancer in the United States. Hmm, quite a statistic. And this weekend, the Cancer Association is holding a first ever concert to raise awareness about ovarian cancer. Joining us to share more details right now, Dion Bowens with the MOCA. Uh, she's the executive director. Dion, good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. I read a little bit about you and, and your personal story. So quickly run us through that diagnosed at a very young age and a survivor. Yes, I was diagnosed right out of high school with teratoma ovarian cancer. That was in 1993, 28 years ago. So I'm very, very fortunate to be here. Um, actually, almost 29 now. Um, very fortunate to be here and honored to be the executive director of MIOCA which is Michigan Ovarian Cancer Alliance. And we do a lot of awareness. We invest in research and advocacy for women. And we do a lot of programs for survivorship. So it was just kind of put on me to really do this uh, ovarian cancer awareness event in my hometown of Benton Harbor, simply because there's just a, you know, a lack of testing and early detection for women because the symptoms show up as everyday uh, women occurrences. Mm -hmm. So, Dan, tell us a little bit about what you hope people learn and what you hope they take away um, from this event that you're planning. Well, our hope is that people become more aware of the signs and symptoms so that way they can become advocates for themselves and women can be empowered to speak up for themselves when it comes to um, their own health and uh, to engage men in the conversation to engage men in the conversation simply because they become the husbands and the caretakers uh, for women that are battling this. And we actually need them as our allies to uh, help advocate for us. Dion, tell us, how can folks support? We're, we're seeing a lot of pictures of people in teal. We hear there's a concert coming up. Tell us about how they can come out, learn more, and, and really benefit your organization. Well, people can learn a lot more about our organization and all of the events that we have by simply going to Mioka.com. And uh, we have events throughout the year uh, supporting that way that we can uh, actually use a lot of help with third party fundraisers. Um, just being present and being uh, helpful with our Thai Michigan Till campaign, just really getting the word out about ovarian cancer awareness. And it's so important for us to do that simply because there's not one test that singly diagnoses ovarian cancer. So just being aware and helping us with our awareness campaign really helps us as well. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And Dan, tell us what people need to do, women, men, if they want to learn more about Mioka, about this concert, what do they need to do? They can go to uh, Facebook, Mioka's Facebook page or Mioka.com. Um, we are really blasting the awareness and the uh, flyer for the event. Uh, it's free. It's free to the public. We are actually having another event in Grand Rapids on August 22nd. I'll shake your All right, Dan, Dan, I think we've lost you, but again, that website on there, mioka.org, you yes. can go there, the Facebook page. And I, you know, I think she was saying they're gonna have another event in Grand Rapids as yeah. well as this Benton Harbor concert coming up in just a couple of days. July 15th, free concert, seven to 10 for a great organization. Thank you, Dion.